But we begin tonight with breaking news. Ronald Illich, the son of Mike and Marion Illich, has been found dead inside a Troy hotel room. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel joins us live now with developments behind his death. Brian? Yeah, Ronald was one of seven children of the Illich family pair, a former Titan of Little Caesars Arena, as well as the Detroit Tigers and Red Wings owner. Now, here's what we know so far. You can see a Troy police car here still in front of the Marriott Hotel on the side here when we first arrived not long ago there was multiple police officers so that has dwindled down and here is what we have been able to get confirmed from Troy police that Ronald Illich's body was found sometime before 4 p.m. this afternoon and they believe that is due to a suspected drug overdose. There was also an unknown woman in the room with him at the time. Now, this was not the first time he had a long, he had a history of issues with police. One 2014 arrest for cocaine possession traffic stop near Detroit's Riviera Motel. Now, it is still unclear what the drug was that is suspected to be the cause of the death today. And we do have a statement from the Illich family. It reads, on behalf of my mother, Marion Illich, and our entire family, I want to express our sadness and grief at Ron's passing. We are devastated about this loss, and we ask for respect of the family's privacy during this difficult time. That comes from Christopher Illich, Ronald's brother, president and CEO of Illich Holdings. So Ronald Illich, son of Mike Illich, dead at the age of 61 at a, Detroit, at a Troy hotel room. Reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you for the update.